guys how are you doing this monday afternoon how was your weekend uh welcome back and if you're new welcome uh, to my youtube channel my name is modoni mkiri Njoroge. i am a mindset coach and a personal development coach and yeah i'm a practicing coach and today we are talking about trusting again after betrayal so you trusted someone maybe it was in a relationship you were in love you were so into it and someone betrayed you maybe they cheated they cheated on you they lied or they stole from you or they just did something that um, uh, betrayed your trust in them it could be it was a business deal and um, it went sour maybe one of your partners betrayed you it could be your family members betrayed you it could be a friend a roommate just someone betrays your trust and then uh, now you're finding it hard to trust again or to get into another agreement to get into another relationship to trust your friends you know it happens you know it's life and some some unfortunate things happen so um trusting again after betrayal has a lot to do with you not even with the other person who will betray you i'm not here to sell a fantasy and i'm not here to tell you that people will not betray you or people will not hurt you or people will not be who they say they are people will betray you people can even betray you when you're 80 years old people can betray you when you are at your best when you've given them your everything I'm not here to tell you they will not because they will betray you. It doesn't mean you cannot live your life the way you want. It doesn't mean you cannot trust. It doesn't mean you live your life so guarded that you're so scared someone might, might betray you. Because what that does is it, it prevents you from living the life you want. Hmm? Life is full of misfortunes. Life is full of some things that we don't want in our lives. But they happen. Hey, but that should not prevent us from living life. This episode is not for someone who've chosen to stay in the betrayal. You, whoever you're in a relationship with is constantly betraying you over and over again. You're in a business partnership with people who are betraying you. You're living with betrayers. Let me call them betrayers. I don't know if that's an English word. And then you say you're finding it hard to trust again. Of course you will find it hard. This is not in the movies. This is real life. And there's no button you're gonna press. Yeah. So this video is not for people who are staying in the betrayal. This video is for someone who was betrayed and then they they've left or they are no longer in that toxic space but then they're finding it hard to open again or to trust someone again yeah so two things like i've said uh trusting and trust has a very little to do with the other person it has a lot to do with yourself number one when you go through betrayal someone if it's friendship if it's uh relationships if it's whatever when someone betrays you take time after the betrayal to to understand why it happened to understand was it them was it me and to understand even it happens again this is what i can do this is what i should do that is what we call the recovery don't just be betrayed today by your boyfriend and in another month you're in another rebound relationship and then you say you're finding it hard to trust again of course you don't even know why whatever happened happened in the other situation and you're already in another situation let's not be naive well at it let's be accountable to ourselves and let's be willing to not make the same mistakes that we're making over and over again so number one when it comes to trust it's trusting yourself to make the right decisions to choose the right people in your life now, that is the first thing trusting yourself what does that mean it means like in business we say taking calculated risks if it's in a relationship you take your time to get to date that person. You ask the right questions. You look at their actions. You stop the, uh, you stop ignoring red flags. That's the first thing. Do they do what they say they're going to do? Take your time. Don't just be betrayed by your ex and then you find a guy and in two weeks you're in their house going for sleepovers and all over their relatives. Take your time to do If it's in a business, protect yourself in the contract. If it's friendships, don't just meet some uh, girl today or your fr a friend today and during the weekend you're showing them uh, all your passwords and you're telling them your deepest secrets. Protect yourself. Do research. Take time before you start giving out your secrets or before you start letting in people too close. 
take your time you cannot leave one toxic situation or one situation where you are betrayed and rush into another one and then say you you're finding it hard to trust a bit after betrayal yes because you did not recover from the last betrayal number one trusting yourself to make the right choice yeah the second thing when it comes to trust is trusting yourself to do the right thing if indeed they fail you or they betray you sometimes you will take your time when dating sometimes you will ask the right questions you will look at the actions and the red ones sometimes you will do all those things and someone will still betray you some people pretend some people have that poker face and they will lie to you in your face and then after a while you realize whoa this is another betrayal and like i said people betray in life it doesn't mean they won't betray you sometimes you can even protect yourself in the contract even if it's a business agreement or in terms of friendship you can really try to you know but maybe this person will eventually change or betray you or find another friend or find a better lover or whatever and they can betray you but when they betray you if indeed they will betray you the key is to trust yourself to make the right choice in the middle of that betrayal actually let me tell you a secret about this it's the same thing even with marriage even with these uh, long term relationships you trust you hope they're not going to betray you you hope they're going to keep the commitment you hope they're going to do the right things but then you know deep down you should know deep down that indeed if they fail you you have everything it takes to make the right decision for yourself so those are the two most important things trusting yourself to make the right decision how do you do that by knowing you're not that naive person knowing you've been betrayed before knowing you have to take your time and you have to protect yourself yeah the second thing trusting to make the right choice if indeed someone betrays you because people are going to betray you along the way so um how do you trust you're going to do the right thing by knowing this Sometimes when people betray us in relationships and friendships and all those things, sometimes we feel like they took away something from us. Sometimes we feel like they took away our confidence, but they have not taken it away. That's why it's important to take time to recover so you can look within yourself and, and find your power again and find that woman that you feel like you've lost. You still have the power to say no. In, if, if someone crosses the line you still have the power to be able to look at two way options is this guy the right person for me should i take more time you have the power don't give away your power to other people don't give away the power your power to that guy don't you have the power to decide and you have everything it takes in you to choose the right person and the right the right friendship the right uh, partnership for you and you also have everything it takes to make the right choice if this person betrays you it's about trusting yourself it's not it's mostly not about that person it's actually not it's about trusting yourself that when you start dating and then you realize oh this one is lying oh this one is uh, not in, not consistent you drop him like a hot potato is trusting yourself to do the right choice and to make to to make the right decisions and to make the right choices for you and for your life so it's about you work on yourself another thing i had written some notes here another thing if you're starting to date again or you're starting to get to know people and then you feel like someone someone the other person has not given you a, a reason not to trust them they're trustworthy but they, they've not given you a reason but where in your own corner you're going bananas oh they must be cheating on me oh they must be somewhere with other women oh they must be blah 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 checking other women on instagram it's in your head it's not what they've shown you you just have issues in your head you know why sometimes we feel like we have trust issues even with people who've not given us a reason not to trust them is because we have low self esteem is because we don't we feel we are not good enough for that person is because we feel we are not enough like they have to go and look for something else outside what we have with them right am i making sense yeah so if you feel like you've met a nice person a nice guy or someone who's treating you nicely but you in somewhere inside there you feel uh, no they are going to cheat on me this one has to cheat on me he has to have another woman he has to but they've not given you a reason not to trust them the problem is you your self esteem work on your self worth so you can feel good about yourself so you can know you deserve to be treated with that goodness so you can know you deserve that good looking wonderful person that has seen you and noticed you and known that person has already know you enough for them but you don't think you are it's in your head yeah 
another re- thing that is one thing if someone has not given you a reason not to trust them you've taken your time they are consistent they are they care about you but where when you corner you're going bananas with trust issues it's not that person my sister it's you another thing it's easy to say you know i don't trust them they've cheated on me before why are you staying in a relationship where people are sleeping with people all over and if you're married and they're messing up what are you doing about it are you going for counseling are you talking to uh, an elder couple to help you through it are you taking time alone to know why this is happening or things are just betrayal is happening and you're there folding your hands and and saying you know madoni i cannot trust of course it's not a button that you press some of these things take time take work and take the willingness to want event to get over them so the two most important things my ladies number one trusting yourself to make the right choice remember you're not starting from scratch you have experience you know now someone can betray you so you do you do diligence you take your time you protect yourself if it's friendships don't meet women and start telling you their secrets women can be crazy and actually my next video is about that healthy versus unhealthy friendships yeah so trust yourself to make the right choice and the second one trust that you will be fine if they betray you Trust to do the right thing for yourself and trust that you will be okay. That one left and betrayed you. You're still here. You're still surviving. You're still okay. So, even moving forward, you have experience, you have knowledge now. You're not that 21 or whatever naive girl. You are, have the everything it takes to make the right choice. And if you make the you feel you've done the best and then they still betray you, you have the power to cut it off and you, you to trust that you will be okay even after that relationship or after that friendship you will still be okay it just has to do with you working on strengthening who you are so uh, i want to end here i want to end it here this is not a coaching session this is a youtube video i always say that and um i did a seminar in july about dating how to recover Uh, from a, a toxic or whatever relationship that hurt you and how to start over when it comes to dating that seminar is for sale i sell it for 2000 i did two saturdays so it's one hour one hour it's two videos so it's for sale i sell it for 2000 kenya shillings or 20 dollars so get it if you're struggling to trust again if you're struggling to recover from a narcissistic relationship or you're starting over in dating get my seminar yeah talk uh, use the number down below the email address and then you can you can buy the seminar and you can watch it during your own time so my people it's okay it's okay people will betray us but we trust ourselves we we do the best in our lives and if they still betray us we have everything it takes to cut it off to make the right decisions for us and to trust that we are going to be okay even after that anyway bye guys see you on wednesday my video on wednesday is about healthy versus unhealthy friendships bye